Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, student. Here we are going to discuss about generations of computer. That is belongs to chapter number one, class nine, computer science. Let's move towards the generation of computers. First generation of computer, the duration of first generation of computer is 19. 42 to 1959 and the technology was used that is vacuum tube what is vacuum tube vacuum tube is used to control the flow of electricity and how it looked like so we will see that how it was look like vacuum tube vacuum tube you can see on your screen uh, they are uh, look like a long light bulb and they were used in electronic devices at that time in 1940s, 1950s. So they are long light bulb. There are different type of vacuum tube you can see on different shapes. Another picture you can see on your screen that is showing that how many different vacuum tubes are located in a device or a computer. They have in different shapes different size as well and some vacuum tube you can uh, note down that some are on and some are off on the right side you can see in the label diagram of vacuum tube you can see there is a glass envelope plate anode that is called and filament inside there is a filament filament that emit the light when we pass the electricity and the filament is burned and it emit the light Now come to the computer. Those computers were developed in first generation of computer. Number one is electronic numerical integrator and computer that is called ENIAC. You can see another diagram or picture of ENIAC. ENIAC is very big in size and it was accommodated in very big hall or very big room. Another picture you can see of ENIAC there is a technical person or technician that is replacing the vacuum tube and some vacuum tube are on and some vacuum tube are off. You can see on the background picture, there are so many thousands of vacuum tube in a one single computer. That's why the computer was very big in size. Univac universal automatic computer that was developed in 1950s. You can see there is a magnetic tape also there and data can be stored on the magnetic tape that was also manufactured in first generation of computer. And other picture of Univac you can see on your screen. Now the ADVAC, electronic discrete automatic computer. Electronic discrete automatic computer that is uh, on your screen, you can see John Vaughn New and uh, manufactured this computer. And after this, ADVAC. ADVAC electronic delayed automatic computer. There is a diagram you can see a very big hall, and they were very big in size. And electronic delayed automatic computer that is called ADSEC that has a capability to store programs on magnetic tape as well and other picture of adsec you can see there is a magnetic tape is also there on the right side and there is an insert card option is also there you can insert a card on the card you can store the data that's just like a floppy disk or magnetic tape now come to the advantages of first generation of computer Vacuum tubes were the only electronic com components available during those days. At that time, the people uh, who manufacture computer, they can only use vacuum tube. Number two, vacuum tube technology made possible to advent of electronic digital computer. And due to the uh, vacuum tube technology, it was possible that computer can be manufactured. And number three, these computers were the fastest calculating devices of their time. At that time, they were faster, although the vacuum tube were used and vacuum tube consume a lot of electricity and emit a lot of heat. Now the disadvantage of the first generation of computer, 
Number one is very big in size. They were very big in size. As you have seen in different pictures, how could they accommodate in the very big hall in the very big room? And after that, slow in speed. They were very slow in speed. Low reliability. They were low reliable. The people could not rely on the computer because they were very slow at that time. Large power consumption, as you all of you know that the vacuum tube consume a lot of electricity. That's why the large power consumption is used at that time. Number fifth, difficult maintenance. Maintenance is very difficult because they were very big in size and thousands of vacuum tube were used in those computers. So it is very difficult to find the which one is fuse and which one is not working. So whenever they want to find the error, so they required weeks or sometime the months. So these were the disadvantages of the first generation of computer. And students, I hope that you will understand about the first generation of computer and its features and advantages and disadvantages. And in the next class, we will discuss some new topic related to computer science, class nine. Until that, Allah Hafiz. Thank you.